Good day people. This is Mohit uh, once again with yet another tutorial on Adobe Flash Professional CS5 and today I'm going to teach you how to make a circular preloader. Let's start. Instead of clicking on uh, Action Script 3 or 2, um, I'll click on Sample Files. I'll select Preloader for SWF, the second last option, and say OK. Now Flash actually gives us a sample file with a ready-made action script on the actions layer. Let me right click select actions and show you. Okay, This is contained within the action script uh, panel. So this is the ready-made code that Flash gives us and it is responsible for uh, uh, making a preloader. Let me show you first before I start tweaking and uh, making certain changes to this code what exactly flash gives us so uh, let's move on to the second frame on the content layer it says large content goes here I'll uh, put in my own picture here I'll import a picture push it onto the stage okay adjust the size to 550 by 400 and then I'll say control enter control enter once again it shows you uh, that this is the default uh, preloader that Flash gives us. It's just a loading pulsating uh, text and an incrementing uh, text. Okay, but I want to make a circular preloader. I want to tweak this. I want to make certain changes. I want to retain something, and I don't want to make you know include something of my own. So uh, let me show you how this is done. I go back. I open up the actions layer. And I want to make uh, little adjustments here, little changes here. I have a little bit of code that I've written. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it inside the actions layer. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let me tell you what uh, these few lines of code are supposed to do. Now, I've, I'm using a timer, and this timer actually fires off every 1000 milliseconds. Uh, which is one second and what does it do it actually rotates a movie clip called MC by 36 degrees every time right guys it cannot be 38 or it cannot be 35 that will spoil the, the script I'll tell you why I shall come to that so basically what I've done is I've just included a few lines of uh, script that contain a timer the timer when it gets started fires off every 1000 milliseconds and it rotates a movie clip called MC that we're going to create in a few moments and it rotates it every you know it rotates it uh, 36 degrees every time after every 1000 milliseconds I'm going to make certain changes to this code now uh, I'll go back I, I, I think 1000 milliseconds is a bit too much I'll d uh, drop it down to 100 milliseconds and uh, that's it okay what else do I do I don't want this uh, backgrounds layer I'll get rid of it I'll right click and say delete I'll also get rid of loading text I want the stage to be white and I want the color of the text field the percent text field to be black thereafter I need to create I need to create a movie clip called MC. Let's start doing it. Let's first create a small circle using the oval tool. Press shift and draw a small circle. I don't want the uh, outline and get rid of it. Circle is a bit too small. Let me just increase the size. Mm, that should be good next I'll convert it into a symbol press F8 registration point center I'll say OK then I'll get rid of it I'm gonna select the deco tool okay and symmetry brush 
I'm going to switch it off. The default shape should be off. I'm going to select my own symbol, the circle that I've selected and say OK. I don't want to use the default shape. I want to use my own symbol. Make sure that this is set to rotate around, not any other option. Rotate around. Then I'm going to make a few circles. I want to make sure that these are 10 circles. So these are 8. I want to increase them. And I'll just crunch this angle a little bit. Let me count them now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I want one more. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's it. Yeah. I need 10 circles. I've created 10 circles using the Deco tool, the Symmetry brush, and my own custom made symbol. Next, uh, I'm going to ungroup these uh, circles. I'll say Modify, Ungroup. Now we have 10 different movie clips. Okay, guys, I'm going to select uh, all of them like this using a marquee. I'm going to drop down the alpha to 15, like so. I'm going to select them again and I'm going to convert them to a movie clip. F8, okay. I'm going to call this MC. I'm going to double click go inside. Now I'm going to make changes to these four s balls or circles. I'm going to select the fourth one. I'm going to increase the alpha to 100. This one and make it 80. This one proceeding uh, make it 60. And the first one right on the top make it 40. Mm. Okay, cool. I'm going to click on scene one, go back to the main timeline. Alright, guys, so this is uh, going to serve as the preloader, but it's just too big for a preloader. Let me just decrease the size. Uh, this is good enough. Let's get it right over the text field here. Okay, looks good to me. Let me check the code once again. Okay, <coughs> sorry guys. Now this code on the top is uh, something uh, that f is responsible for the preloader and this is the timer that is executed every 100 milliseconds, one-tenth of a second and rotates the uh, MC movie clip 36 degrees. If I make it 40 or if I make it 32 or any other value, it will not work properly. Uh, 10 circles multiplied by 36 is 360. So the calculation should work out like this. The number of balls multiplied by the increment in degrees should equal 360 degrees and then the, then the code will work properly. And we shall see um, soon why. I'll show you that. Uh, if you notice here in the code that is responsible for uh, the preloader says that once the bytes loaded become equal to bytes total, basically uh, when the you know the animation is complete, Flash is telling that uh, stop the preloader, jump onto the second frame and stop there. Uh, that's cool, but. I want to add one single line here. I also want my timer to stop. So I'll say my timer dot stop S T O P parent parent semicolon. I started the timer here and I'm stopping it here. I'm stopping it when the bytes of the timeline have loaded completely and the movie is ready to jump onto the second frame and stop okay let me test the movie by pressing control enter again to simulate so guys there it is a, a nice circular preloader it's it's going in circles uh, the alpha keeps changing for the four different balls and they go in in, in circles literally trying to catch its tail like a dog and uh, the text is incrementing from 0 to 100 
when it reaches 100 the timer comes to a stop and the image shows up which is there on frame number 2 here it says go to and stop on frame number 2 that is where the image is and it also stops the timer which was initiated here and the timer what it does is it increments it is executed or fired of every 100 uh, milliseconds and it it rotates the uh, movie clip 36 degrees and as I said uh, this 36 is important and the number of balls 10 is important if you choose uh, 8 balls and 36 as the rotation degree uh, it will not work properly it will be a little, a little bizarre you will not get the desired result let me just show you let, let me make it 40 and I will show you what happens I'll say control enter again to simulate you see that guys um, it looks a little bizarre doesn't it let me zoom in to show you see there you understand what I'm trying to say uh, let, let me drop it down to uh, mm, 32 control enter again <laughs> it's, it's even more bizarre now see but once I get it back to 36 number of balls or number of cycles used in the preloader uh, movie clip 10 degree rotation 36 multiplied 10 with 36 gives you uh, 360 this uh, calculation works out perfectly any uh, deviation in the number of degree value or the number of balls and you'll not get the desired result this uh, I'll just reiterate what we have learned so far this code came with the sample file this was the timer if you have ever uh, worked with a timer in action script 3 this is how to create a timer I create a variable my timer of the type timer equals a new timer uh, this is uh, the number of milliseconds uh, after which the timer continuously gets ticked off fired off is executed after every 100 milliseconds I can alter this figure and um, this line is responsible for starting the timer and I'm stopping the timer here once uh, the bytes loaded equa become equal to bytes total uh, basically um, the preloader finishes when the preloader finishes the timer is supposed to stop and sit on frame number two go to and stop there just a little bit of uh, advice or something that I need to point to you if you have more than one uh, two frames uh, this example uses just two frame the first one where the action script sits the second frame where the image sits but what if you have more than two frames we you don't want it to go and sit uh, you know and be stationary on uh, frame number two you want it to go on and on if you have hundred frames you want to go uh, you want it to go t the timeline to advance to the hundredth frame and stop and in some cases you would want it to go back to the second frame and loop back to hundred so you need to make uh, certain adjustments to your code this this could uh, be replaced by play parent parent uh, semicolon and uh, on the hundredth frame you'll need to put a stop function stop parent parent semicolon or on the hundredth frame you have to tell it to go go to end play frame uh, two again so depending upon this scenario this is gonna change right guys so I hope you learned something this is a little complicated if you still have certain doubts you can uh, Visit my website, which is www.adobecs5.in in for India, and uh, you can call me uh, using Skype. I have a Skype uh, call button there, or you can have a live chat uh, with me through Mebo. Mebo is the chat client that I've used on my website. You can use that to have a live chat with me. Uh, subject to my availability, my, my time, and my talent, I'll, I'll try to help you. Okay, guys. So. Um, also um, please find some time and uh, visit uh, yet another of my website which is www.flashlessons.info info for information
okay guys see you next time uh you have a good time bye bye